Hello and welcome back to more Song of Har. So today I'm going to be starting episode two. A little background. I only saw bits and pieces of episode two in Let's Plays. So I don't know everything that's going on, kind of like I did for episode one. And then beyond episode two, I don't know what's going on. So yeah, let's see if I remember some stuff. Or if I'm just going to screw myself over right away. Or I guess whatever shmore, poor schmuck I'm playing is. Schmork. Poor schmuck. Where am I? I remember that. Darn it, I can't use it for this thumbnail. <laughs> well, well, it appears as though the Prince of Slumber will be granting us an audience. How are you feeling, Your Highness? Uh, I had... I had a dream. I... I'm okay. Thanks for coming, Lydia. Good afternoon, Mr. Neuer. I am Alexander Laskin. I work for the Husha family. He's the one who found you. Oh. I, uh... Thank you very much, Mr. Laskin. Without you, I don't know. The pleasure is mine. You see, I would like to help you find Mr. Sebastian. I, I need to know what happened to him and to my wife. And of course, I I'm feeling much better. In fact, I was considering leaving here as soon as possible and- Daniel, the doctor said you need complete rest. Complete. I'm fine, really. I found this. Apparently, Husha received a music box from an acquaintance of his, a certain Mr. Barber. It seems as though he was researching the music box when he vanished. And from what Father says, the music box may be related to everything that has happened. I'm not sure we should stick our nose into this business after everything that's occurred. She may be right, Daniel. I'm sure the police are very close to finding out where Husher is. Do you think the police would have found me? We need to find Husher. I saw the box that Father describes in this letter, but it wasn't really there. It was as if it were on the other side of... No. I think we should pay a visit to this Father and ask him about the music box and Husher. He has a shop in the city not far from here. Daniel, please. I'm fine, really. I think going to a shop and asking the owner a few questions falls within the range of what we can do, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so honestly, I don't think they're going to have a choice but to investigate it because <laughs> Daniel, Alex, Alexander, um, I think just those two really have come in contact with the box, so I don't think they have a choice but to follow it through to the end because otherwise they're going to be haunted. So, yeah, I think that's where we're at on that. Um, let me... Ooh, cursor. Oh, this is the game cursor. Okay. Give me one second. Hopefully this will be better. All right. The audio for the game is up a little bit. One more second. Uh... Boop. Okay, the audio for me is down a little bit. So we'll see if this works. If not, I'll just take care of it in post processing, I guess. So we just played as Alexander Laskin. Um. So we're gonna pick a different character. I I want to say the girl that was. It's okay. The one. Who was that lady? Oh, I'm sorry, Daniel. <laughs> so because he came into contact with the box he's sort of being haunted now i think him and alexander are going to be i think sort of haunted um well alexander's not worried about it because he's taking some swigs from that flask so he ain't worried about being haunted erica farber is i think the granddaughter daughter of isaac 
My thing is, I don't know who the girl with the beanie was in the cutscene. So, I'm not going to play as Alexander because we did last time. So, Erica Farber, 24, light source, lighter. Erica manages the Farber and Sons antique shop along with her father, Isaac. If he's the art expert, she's the managing brains. She's always on top of every slightest detail of the business. Her adventure spirit takes her all over the world in search of new items to adorn the shop's windows. Incredibly active, Erica has many hobbies and lets her imagination run wild at every chance she gets. I Serenity, favorite music, favorite music, ready to listen to on the go. Helps me focus and remember who I am. <gasps> Renee Artigas, 37, flashlight. Renee was born to be a cop and he'll die one too. Born in the Caribbean, he grew disillusioned with the police department in his hometown and set sail for Europe where he thought his integrity and sense of duty would serve him better. But the grass wasn't as green as it seemed. Tired of moving around, Renee decided to settle down and do what he could to help his new fellow citizens. Oh. He also is a high strength character. Decent serenity, also low strength, low stealth. Bolstered and secured as per safety regulations, hoping never have to use it. So he has a service weapon. That doesn't, I, I'm interested to see what that item does. Because the other character's items bring them like, oh, maybe it does bring him serenity. He's like, oh, okay, I have my gun here. It makes me feel better. Uh, Daniel, he's balanced. Badge of perseverance. I had to lose it all to find myself. I don't want that to happen again. Uh, 43, Daniel is a publicist and ex-entrepreneur whose failed business venture led him to become an alcoholic. Dang. Yeah, you didn't get to see this before. <laughs> <laughs> As someone that was like trying to build a business, like, okay, thanks. Um, drinking cost him his health, his merits to Sophie, and even his home. Daniel, who has been sober for some time now, has finally managed to secure a stable job and slowly rebuild his life. Golly. Um, duties. I think that's the same. So I don't know. Um, a part of me wants to work, hmm, let's see, let me check something out here, all right, my voice might get a little bit lower, we'll see, um, I kind of want to play as Erica because it's her father's shop she would have the most knowledge of the area everybody else going in knows nothing so let's go with her i would hate to get her killed though but i mean bonus person no additional item do not carry additional no i want to carry oh, yeah what is it? wait what no I thought I had to press the button to change the personal, I guess because it didn't have an arrow, I couldn't do it. I didn't even see what the other thing was at the bottom that I could change. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let me remember how to play the game first. I remember this thing for the heartbeat thing. I remember this and I think RT for the door slam thing. These are great descriptions, by the way. The best descriptions. Um, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the guide tutorial too. I'm gonna try and get through these episodes a little more quickly than I did um for the past one, because I don't want to keep forgetting how to play and die because of it. I would hate to use a, lose a character because I forgot how to play. I would feel bad. And because you can't bring him back, I would feel bad for a while. Barber and Sons. This is October 1st, 19... Oh, we're getting close to Halloween. What else is it going to take us through Halloween? All right. Let me check how to play. And I can save on the spot, which is good. Um... No, losing your characters. Okay. So light source. Um I'm just gonna use oh. Oh, I need to remember that. Cause I 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, because it's a lighter, it's not super uh, reliable. That's going to freak me out. But I have to remember to not press RT. So I'm going to use uh, R, like the R3 button for that. Because I can get in trouble by accidentally turning off my light and not noticing. So we'll use this. Because you use RT for other stuff. Door blocking, like this. Gather your strength and do this. She's not as strong as some of the other characters, so I need to keep that in mind. I feel like that's a really good way to get killed. Um, listening. Hiding. So LT to run. You're at the hiding place. Okay, gotta remember the map button. The sirens. Oh boy, okay. So light, generally just keep it on. It doesn't go away. This, slam, listen. Uh, this to run, remember the map button, I need that too. Oh, map button. Um, light map, got it. Uh, calm, you can manage to hide from the darkness. Okay, these two together. The silence, the brick. The abyss, the requiem. Whoa, wait a minute. These tutorials were not here before. These are going to be specific to this episode. Help me. It can't see you, but it can hear you. Running is futile. Don't run. You need to keep calm and stay quiet. In order to do so, you need to control your breathing by gently moving. Oh, that's hard. Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. If it feels your presence, it will come closer and closer to each mistake you make. Don't let it reach you. Okay, I think I get it. This controller is not... I guess we can do it. Um, I feel like I'm going to get her killed. You're sinking. Get out as quickly as you can. To escape, really press A. Simple enough. They'll try to catch you by the arms. To prevent this, press X and B at the right time. If you don't manage it, you have to free yourself by pressing that same button several times. Don't take too long or you'll definitely sink. The Requiem. They're coming to get you. Only the mirror can reveal them. To turn the mirror, use this. Once you see them, you have to finish them off by focusing the light from your lamp on them. To do so, hold down RT. If you take too long, they'll try to escape. Don't let them out of your sight or they'll attack from behind. <laughs> this game is about to get real. I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. I don't like it. We saw all kinds of stuff here. I had to think about opening a second, more specialized shop. I truly, honestly hope you live to do that. Oh my gosh. They just added a whole bunch of stuff I'm not ready for. I see Dad left the keys in the flower pot again. It's a good thing because I forgot mine. Yep, found those. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's a key to our shop. It says on the key chain. Key chain. Can't talk. All right. People who sure know us well, but ridiculous how often we go to take out. Man, this is a lot. Now they give you prompts, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna be confident that I can get our girl oh. through this. Door and the key magic. Because I really want to get her through as much of this as possible because she knows the shop and everything. God. I'm already freaked out. Okay. Too early to be freaked out. Dad's cane. Umbrella belongs to Mr. Roman. Oh.
Thank you for the little reminder, game. That's just a nice touch. Put that there. Eerily quiet. Once I would have saw that, I would be like, no. Nope. Weird. It's not like Dad to leave the lights on after closing up. Would have been like, and I'm out. But he didn't. I guess she doesn't know anything about what's going on. Yes. Hmm. Easily been this. All right. Like Alexander and Daniel know something's up. With the purchase, German fellow who sells these wooden ships over 80 years old. Wonder, oh, well, wonder how long they'll be able to buy them. Costumes, we managed to diversify our customer base, but we still got a long way to go. With some minor fixes, telescope because it's new. Look at it. The old Coltar machine. I need to put in a special coin if I want to spell a message. Who knows where those tokens are? Ooh, huh. Yeah, I don't have. Oh, shoot. I have haikus. I didn't realize that. The crawling ones listen behind the mirror. Don't let them out. Searching for the glow warrior. Cage, rain, and one down below. Glow. Warrior, cage, rain. Okay. List of products acquired. I can't find it. I can't remember where I stored that blasty music box. I thought I left it with the rest of the lot, didn't I? Yes, otherwise, where could it be? In this lot, there was also a wardrobe full of dry blood stains. We took it out to the courtyard and dragged it to one of our storage rooms in the basement, but which one do we place it in? I can't even remember what color or shape it was. What's wrong with me? But I possibly revealed the blood left behind somehow. I would have to buy Luminol, right? That's what the police use. Perhaps the way I could find lot, a lot of products containing the wardrobe in the box with it. Sebastian says I must return it to his original owner, so the Grant Amsberg family. If I can manage that, will this madness come to an end? Receipts. One is marked letters. Old furnishings in a music box. Le Grant Amsberg auction. Cheap keychains and regular numbers don't lie. And I don't know where I can hide yet. Okay, right. Fix camera angle for that. Oh, wait to go upstairs. The switch opens the door to the exhibit room. I need to handle. Okay. Oh, boy. a lot of stuff already. These classic novels. He fell asleep reading them. I already hear some funky stuff. I'm gonna check out this table because I think it's a hiding place. I think I could squeeze under there if I try hard enough. Yep, it is. Uh, Grease, at least do some. This is one of my dad's thing. International Treaty. Waterloo. Maybe chill with that noise though. Okay. I can't get complacent just because it's early in the game. You know? Dear Isaac, I'm sorry about your trouble getting to sleep. If it is any consolation, I've been suffering the same plight recently myself, perhaps due to the imminent proofreading of my novel. If quality can be measured by the time invested, it should be one of my finest works, however. 
I suspect this is not always the case. Despite everything, I found a bit of time to look into your mysterious music box. Based on the carving in the wood, I'm certain it is European from the late 19th century or early 20th century. It's pretty recent. I also noticed that it is of extraordinary quality, perhaps a real luxury item back in its ear. I will continue my research. Get well soon, Usher. No, wait, go back. Inventory. Crap. Oh, that's the light. I don't want to mess with, nope, not that. Dang it. What's the um inventory button? There we go. Well, is it? Ah, I see. Okay. It's the front shoulder buttons. Why is that? You know what? I don't even want to know. We're about to get up out of here. Questions I don't need to answer to, right? Oh, boy. oh, what's this? Medical kit, okay. I don't think we explored here thoroughly and I have a hiding place now. Now to start finding stuff. That's really dark. What's my guitar doing here? Shouldn't be here. Huh. You like to lug around this huge thing. Out of balaclava. Huh. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this angle. to start. Shop is a mess, uncategorized and uncatalog articles. We got some major antique weapon fanatics amongst our customers, especially Baker and Malcolm. They couldn't care less about the other items for sale. That might be important. Okay. Let's stick to the front for now. But that's going to be a whole thing, checking all that out. Let's try and go in the gallery. Nope. Oh, okay. So that's what's locked. I... I'm just trying to keep a mental track of my buttons. I need to be very thorough because I want to find those coins. You know what? This is not any better than the back area. Matter of fact, I think it's worse. The scary movie type. Treaty of Tortoiseelips. Um, put me out here. I haven't been too much of interest. I'm gonna have to start checking other rooms. This is freaking huge. Oh. Ada Lovelace. Huge lock, and how the heck do you turn it? Oh, that makes it look like something's looking at me. I don't like it. Did someone put something in the samurai's mouth? It's a bit shiny. Yes, it's like the coin. Bronze Coulter token. Yes, thank you. They better not trick me. Put on a straight face with a random client by me. I'm so tired I wouldn't mind being an ornament. This is another hide spot, okay. I'm gonna put the token in Coltar. Whew, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> creaking. And begin to count the classics. I think that's it for over here, really. Um, there's a door there, but let me go put this coin in Koltar's mouth.
Maybe you have a useful hint. Let's see what this what the future has in store. There is something you forgot. Remember it and you will be blessed. There is something you forgot. Remember it and you will be blessed. Her guitar? Maybe? I don't know. Well, since we explored the rest of this, let's check out this room. I think that's normal. I think that's a normal sound. I'm about to find out. I don't want to get her killed. Don't like it. This was normal too. I'm gonna go across before I go downstairs. Mm -mm. Or, or not. I can just picture that pig Walter in there, the big pervert. So this is the rest of the apartment complex, which I forgot that there's like apartments. I don't like this at all. What the kind of Apartment. What is this? All right. Nope. Ugh. So everything's locked. I don't know still if like running around attracts creatures or it, the darkness, the silence, whatever, um, all the things. I don't know if that's a thing. So I'm just walk whenever, you know, I can. So that leaves. The other side. I just leave. <laughs> I'm passing the door. I want to go. I just want to like split. I think this door was locked, wasn't it? It was. It. What was in here? Oh, this was um the closet. Okay, so we go here. Ugh, you would put me in a freaking dark. Freaking okay. Ugly box doesn't come okay. Um, this is the other side. No uh, mementos, medieval armor, going to do back in the day. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to go in the bathroom. I guess this is the bathroom or the exit. <laughs> I don't like going into bathrooms in horror games, but I don't hear anything. All right, uh, let's go. Luminol, spray bottle, figure out your dangerous substances, the use of the carry liquid. Mirror shattered when the clients lose their mind. Yeah, it's been something that's been going on lately. Kind of just going around. For some reason, the, all the mirrors are usually smashed in these haunted places. I don't know what the deal with that is yet. There's only one door left. The exit, which I'm 
sure is not going to offer any kind of relief. Okay. Mm -mm. He must have locked. Oh, dang. Oh, wait. Big key. Okay, let's put set. That ain't set. Yes. Done. We just came off. Awesome. But I had that key. I don't think there's going to be anything in here because I need to go in here. The only place I can go. So this is her father's flat. Oh gosh, okay. First door. I don't think I heard anything. Seems weird. I don't I don't know. Let's try another one. I think I just don't like any door. Isaac Barber, Marley Rangel, Gibbs family. Okay, so where's everybody? Let's just try this one. Yeah, gotta go through some door sometime, huh? Mm -mm. Oh my, is that, well, I guess it would be. I'm like, is everything locked? Dang. Makes sense though. I think it's fine. Yep. Or it's locked. This will probably lock too though. Uh -uh. All right, I get it. This is a lot of doors to have to check repeatedly that would result in my immediate death if I didn't probably. I'm gonna call this the door checking episode. Who was that? Okay. Where did everyone go? My question exactly. Where are you safe outside though? Well, I'm pretty sure I don't have the keys to any of these places. Unless they just left their doors open. What the water? Alright, everything's locked. That's gonna be me finding a lot of keys. What's that in the bin? Uh, what is that? It's kind of burning the rubbish, I'm sure. Nothing better not kill me and be pissed. Alright, silver coal tar token. Nice. I feel like that's a good way to set me up to get killed though. Cause it's like, oh yeah, you need to like search all these places. You can get all the tokens. Completionist, you completionist, you dead, just dead. It's so quiet, like nothing is happening yet, and I'm gonna regret saying that, cause then everything's gonna happen. So these doors are usually open. These people usually keep otter stuff just open to folks. The shit is probably going to have something interesting in it. Like a little thumpy thumpy. I'll leave it. I probably don't have a key for it anyway. The neighbors use this place as a tool shed. Guess I don't have a key. 
How can it be locked from the inside? We could sneak in somehow. Oh well, yeah, right up there. That's how you can sneak in. Getting out might be different. A different story. Um. Three. Why did they leave it? Let me check the garbage in the ball. I guess. All right, and there's a door here. I thought. There, no, maybe that's a window. All right. Oh, garbage can. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. Someone's gonna grab your hand. Oh, okay. So I know where that is. Using the basement stairs. <sighs> We're not good. We're so far from good. Um, I might as well explore the rest of this. <sighs> I don't want to get her killed. That's the thing. Like I always start to like characters. Like, oh yeah, I don't want to get them killed. And then they, you know. So far, I've been fine. Oh, <gasps> it opened. Ooh, I wish it didn't. I wish it... Nah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Mm-mm. I wish it didn't open. It's fine. That door could have stayed locked. Mm -mm. Um, what's this one? The building is so old, even has a carriage door, which has been used in, I don't know, centuries. We're gonna wait on that and we can go get this car first. Because they set that whole area up like nothing good was gonna happen. So, I'm just gonna assume nothing good was gonna happen and it's very very dark so i don't know if i need to turn on some lights or something because dark areas i don't think are good well ooh, that angle that turn made me a little nauseous okay that area, the downstairs area. I think my guitar is gonna be important later. Oh no. What the hell? Crap, okay, so it's starting. So yeah, I need to go get the, the key <gasps> card first. What? That door is reinforced with steel. I doubt I could hear anything on the other side. But can I see? Let me just go put this token in Zoltan. Uh, here. This scared me. Let's see what the fourth future has in store. Play and win, play and lose, having. Wait, what? Oh. Play and win, play and lose, having doubts go right through. Where are my hiding spots? There's one in the back there. I need to remember that. What the? That's inside. That's behind the door. Oh. It's gone now. But how did it get in there in the first place? Yeah, it could stay gone. 
So, okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's stuck in there. I'm guessing it's stuck in there, but I'm not sure. Um, okay. But I know that if I open that door, girl, her heart is like, here you are. You know, something gold. See? Toluca Lake, a peculiar refrigerator ornament. Oh. I don't really need the whole thing, I'll just take the magnet. I don't know if that's the same thing or if that was something else. What do I need the magnet for? terrified of like the first time I'm gonna have to like hide and stuff that's outside okay um this is huge so I know there's a lever but I don't have a lever for that the lever to open that door that I don't really want to open let me check the other two things in this room What were they? Uh, wait. Wait. I'm walking, I'm facing a what? Oh, Zoltan was one. The ever was another. Wait, I need to go back. Let me make sure I'm checking my inventory and stuff. I'm also near a hiding spot. Here. Maybe I can get the bolt with the magnet. Or something. Need uh, No magneto. I can't just bend those with regular refrigerator magnets. Alright. Um... Fill it right up with that. There we go. Wire for her bit and cord around refrigerator magnet. I can't use this. Mm -mm. Alright, fine. What did I need this for then? Maybe a, it works as a oh. lever? I don't have anything else. Yeah, let's go try it as a lever. Shoulders are gonna be really, really tight. Girl, calm down. I don't want to keep looking at that because I feel like it's gonna make her like insane or something. I need a handle. Okay, that doesn't work as a handle. The room is empty. I don't know what else I was expecting. I think I need this to the shed, maybe. It's not. It's not a, a um lock pick magnet. I don't remember what I could use it for. There's a lot. 
door. Alright, well. I guess I'll go back outside where the thing was. Because that's a good idea, right? I don't have any other options right now. Everything here is locked. Where is this though? Okay. Need to make sure I get an idea of the layout of this place. So she saw something here. Makes me think I need to use it in that one room I could go into that I didn't want to go into for obvious reasons. I'm gonna try the shed first though, but I don't think there's anything else I can do out here. Um, I think to get into the shed, I'm gonna have to go. Nope. Uh, up. Go into that open window. say anything about that you're not gonna investigate it nothing nothing are you are you kidding me what didn't someone yell and fall i mean that wasn't the mannequin that fell right i heard someone scream That's the one I couldn't do. Here. I guess I have to go in here. Oh, now it's time for me to go in here. What? Or not. It's just not a good time. He can see you, but it sure can hear you. Running is futile. You need to keep calm and stay quiet. Because this thing, I guess, is the thing that can teleport, so you can't really run. In order to do so, you need to control your breathing. Gently move it. See, that's going to be hard. Try to keep the white circle as close to the frame as possible. You don't need to let me practice this stuff. If it feels your presence will come closer to each mistake you made. You need to let me practice these mechanics before I, you know. <sighs> okay. So as I let go, it get the circle gets bigger as I push down. Okay, go and push down. Oh, okay. That's really hard. Christ, what the hell was that thing? Achievement unlocked. Sure a quiet thing. place. I don't like that one. Um. Yeah, I don't like that one. Um. What do I got to say about that? I have nothing else to say about that. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a tough mini. And they make it harder or they like, I don't know. I don't know if it's my controller that's weird or what. But 
That one might be tough for me. End of shift report. This was in August. Night shift. Submitted at 7 a.m. Walter Sullivan. Uh, while on round, I detect a small leak on the water pipes. Place a bucket under it. Send a notice to Billy's insurers. Here's someone pounding on the main door. Coming from outside. Approach. And Max was there. No response. The pounding stops. When open up, nobody's in the street. 4.40 a.m. I think I hear a melody playing behind me. I go out into the inner yard and find Mr. Isaac Barber barefoot and wear nothing but a pair of blue pajamas. His eyes are closed and in his hand he is holding a music box which plays as he walks slowly. He ignores me when I call to him and enters the door leading to his shop. Keep doing that. All right. Okay, that one's good. Mm -mm. Oh. <sighs> All right. I'm not looking for anybody just yet. You stuck with the music and these camera angles, though. Okay. There is nobody here. I don't see Simon or that pig Walter, but their keys are inside. Oh, I see. Yes, set of iron keys. Found the doorman's office. He was nowhere to be seen. These keys must open a bunch of doors. Okay, that makes more sense. Why is there nobody here? I can just go in here. Main entrance. My dad always go to the shop. I don't have the keys on me. All right. I might be able to open up this door. Still gonna check first. There's no way I'm not checking. And see, one thing I'm worried about, too, is the thing being closer. Like, if that thing were closer and I mess up, I'm in trouble. Good. I might look up how to do that mini game properly. So, what, do you, what do you know? Walter has a semi-pornographic poster in here. But he's such a nice man. He never stopped me or anything. Ooh. Where can I hide in here? Yes. Uh, daytime shift. This is from Simon. Uh, also August. The plumber from the insurance rides and repairs the leak in the pipe. Signed a form. Package delivered. Nobody's home. Stored at the doorman's desk. Isaac Barber asks about the incident which took place during night shift. He seems to be confused and not to know what I'm talking about and appearing upset. He asks me many questions. I offer to call the doctor, be assured he's fine. Door to door salesman is trying to sneak into the inner courtyard. I should him out of the building. Uh, here's the key to the switch up on the shop counter in case anyone needs to access the exhibit gallery. There are security cameras. Which? Okay, where is it? Where is it? It said here. Unless they meant the one I just grabbed. I see the security monitors are in full swing. Huh. Okay. Oh, I don't like these types of rooms. Not even a freaking room. A creepy hallway. 
Oh gosh, the lovely Walter displaying the complaint I filed against him as, worse, as if it were some kind of prize. I see he's taking it very seriously. This is, okay, like an in-between area. It's fine. Where does this go, though? So then, okay, let me just check this one. Out. What? Okay. I see. I think it's safe. It's like room after room. I guess it's a complex. But dang. Crime scene. Very apropos. Here we go. This is the lever. Nice. Crank handle. Iron crank with a socket. Where did this go? Hi, right, here. No? Okay, that's fine. Easily high under this. Oh, okay, I can. Okay, I need to remember that. So I hope each episode kind of has its own mechanic. I mean, in a way, I guess I wish the mechanics would be the same, but I don't want to have to remember, like, I don't know, 12 different mechanics by the time this is over. It sounds okay. Oh, it's a bathroom. I see something on that cleaning cart. Rocks at it. Cool. I don't think I need more. That's my bra. F you, Walter. You bloody pervert. This has to be you, son of a itch. You just wait. Yeah, he's definitely a perv. The mirror is filthy, but I'm not surprised. Although, who's talking? Who's talking? Uh -huh. Electricity's going bonkers. Damn. That was so strange. Yeah, and terrifying because I didn't know what to do. <sighs> okay. So I think we're done in here. Just got my heart rate up for nothing. It was just like, ah. Okay. So this led out back into the hallway to open the crank. To use the crank to open that thing, right? This way. And there was a door at the end as well. In the basement, which I don't want to go in just yet. Okay. What do I have? Keys to just about everything now. The crank opened that door, which I might wait to do. And the crawling ones listen behind the mirror. Don't let them out. Search for the glow. Warrior cage, rain, and one down below. All right. Well, this is, this has been episode two of Song of Heart. I will be back with more now that we have the keys to investigate most of the places. Yay, so much fun. Not going to be horrifying at all. 
So thank you for watching and I um, hope to see you soon for the next part of episode two. Bye-bye.